Hello, this is Petro from Gulian Technology. Today I would like to show you how to add a new hard disk in QCOW2 format to a VM running in Proxmox virtual environment. So make sure to watch to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website gulian.uk. Let's get started. Recently, one of my followers was watching a previous video where I explained how to add an additional hard disk to a VM in Proxmox VM. And he asked me a question. How you can add a QCOW2 image to a VM in Proxmox V? And in this video, I would like to show you how you can do this thing. In Proxmox virtual environments, we have two types of storage. There is a file level storage and a block level storage. The file level storage allow access to a fully featured POSIX file system. They are in general more flexible than block level storage and allow you to store content of any type. Block level storage on the other hand allows to store large raw images. It is usually not possible to store other files like ISO files or backups on such storage devices. In order to add a new hard disk in the QCOW2 image format to a VM, you need to have a file level storage. Otherwise, you will not be possible, it will not be possible to do it like this. To, to add a QCOW2 image format to an existing VM. You can see the type of storage you have on in your Proxmox V from the GUI as well as from the uh, configuration file. So from the GUI, first you go to the data center, select, select your node, and here you have two options. You can scroll down and you can see the type of storage that you have uh, configured for this node. For example, as you can see here, uh, I will go to the summary page. I will select the file based storage PVE and I will go to the summary. In the summary page, we can see if uh, we, the type of content that might be stored on this uh, disk, on this hard disk. And also you can see the type of, uh, of the storage. The directory type is a file level storage. Uh, we have also, uh, for example, let's check another type. I have multiple disks, hard disk, as you can see here. This one is of type LVM. The LVM type is a block level storage device. Uh, if you want to find more information about which uh, types of storage you can have with Proxmox VM, you can uh, check the Proxmox documentation. I will open a page here, here to show you uh, where this you can find more information about the storage types in uh, Proxmox VE. So you go to Proxmox VE storage, storage types, and here we can see, you can find a, a table with all the types of storage that you can have uh, in Proxmox V. As you uh, find here, there are some block types. You have the block level storage and file level storage. For QCOW2 image format, you need to use a file uh, storage. Uh, in uh, my VM, in my environment, I showed you that I have a, a directory uh, a type which is a file level storage. So here you can see type is directory. Now, uh, another method to see what type of storage you have in your uh, environment is to go to the your, to select your node and go to the shell option and here you can check by running the command cut etc pve storage.cfg and uh, you can see that I have two types of uh, you, I have four disks on this machine 
Two of them are of file level storage. This one is the first one of the file level storage. And this one is the second one. And I have two types of block level storage. We, one of them is LVM and one of them is LVM fin. We can confirm this from the table. So for directory, we have uh, the information that is a file level storage. For LVM, we can see that it's a block type storage and LVM fin is also a block type storage. Now, after we have confirmed that we have the right storage configured on our uh, Proxmox V uh, server, we need to discuss about the image formats. In Proxmox uh, VE, you can work, uh, you can have three image formats. There is the raw image, raw disk, the raw disk image, which is a bit-to-bit -bit image of a hard disk, and it is similar to what you get when executing the DD command on a block device in Linux. We have the QCOW2 format. The KEMU image format is a copy on write format which allows snapshots and thin provisioning of the disk image. And we have as well the VM, VMDK image format, which is a VMware image format. And it only makes sense if you intend to import or export uh, a disk to our hypervisors. Now let me show you how you can add a new disk in a QCOW to format to a VM in Proxmox VE. So I will choose the Ubuntu machine. And here we have a couple of tabs. You, if you want to add a new hard drive, you need to go to the hardware and you need to press the add button. Currently, as you can see, I have two hard disks attached to this VM. Both of them are of type row. Now we want to add a, Q, a QCOW2 image to uh, this VM, a new hard drive. I will press add hard drive and I will select from the storage list the, uh, uh, the new storage. For QCOW2 format, you need to have a disk which is of type file storage. And we have here one file uh, type storage and two block level storage. I will choose file based storage and I will create a new disk of uh, 10 gigabytes in memory. Uh, in the format field, you can see that you can specify the type of disk that you want to create. You can create uh, with a file based storage, you can create a raw disk image or a KEMU image uh, or a QCOW2 image format. I will select KEMU image format and I will press on add. I'll wait a little bit until the new hard disk is added to the, to the VM. Before restarting the machine, I will show you what we currently have on this machine. Let me enter the right password. I will clear the screen and run the lsblk command. Uh, right now we have the uh, SSD, SDA, this is the first hard disk with uh, three partitions, and we have the second disk SDB with a single partition, SDB1. I will, I will stop the, the VM and I will uh, restart it. So I will run shutdown command to shut down the VM. I will wait until the VM is completely stopped and I will start it uh, one more time after that. In the meantime, I will show you, uh, this is the bash shell uh, on the Proxmox VE itself. And if I run an ls command here, you will see that I have two uh, image, yes, we, I have two images here. One of them is of type QCOW2 and one of them is of type VMDK. I imported the metasploitable.vmdk image file to this uh, virtual to this VM uh, in order to use it as a virtual machine. I have it here. Uh, I wanted also to show you the the <coughs> raw format 
of the storage. So I will run the command lsblk and these are the disk images of type raw. As you can see, I have a couple of them here. And this one is the, the SDC one. Uh, the SDC one is DM disk PVA, this one. So we have the VM disks here. We can see that these are the disks that are created and all of them are in the raw format. Okay, uh, I see that the VM was stopped completely. Let me start it one more time. Let me uh, start the guest operating system and let's confirm from the from within the OS if the new hard disk of type QCOW2 was attached to the VM. Okay, so let's wait until the machine is finishing the boot process. I'll open the terminal and I will run the S lsblk command one more time. As you can see at the end of the output we have a new disk. This disk was a newly created disk, that is that is in the format QCOW2 and as you can see it is attached to the VM. Now you just need to create a new partition and add a new file system on top of it. So now you know how you can add a new hard disk in the QCOW2 image format to an existing VM. Uh, you can also create a new VM with a QCOW2 image format for the hard disk. Uh, the steps that you need to take is just press on the create VM, uh, specify the name of the VM, a new VM, specify the DVD image from where the ISO file from where the Linux system will be installed, specify the system, press next here, and here uh, on the disk window, you can uh, specify the type of the, the format, the image format of the hard disk for this VM. If you selected a file-based storage, you have the possibility to choose the camo image format. If uh, you selected the local LVM, which is a block-based storage, you will see that the format uh, field is, uh, is... You cannot change the format of the hard disk. It will be uh, in the raw disk image. So you'll have the raw image format. This is all that I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and have a nice day. Bye.